So if you want to upsize the free little blossom pattern to make one of these much bigger ones that can either be a cushion or um, I'm going to put them on a, I've got some dowling rod, they look really cute as a sort of ornament. They could be part of a play mat, there's so many things that they could be, they're really, really sweet. And actually, strangely enough, they're easier to sew than the little ones, in my opinion anyway. And there's a couple of things you'll need to just change up a little bit. So obviously you scale up the size for the printable. I will include one at this size, which is 300% of the original one. So I'm going to add, I'm going to make sure that you can have access to that download if you don't want to actually go through the resizing process. You could of course make them much, much bigger if you wanted to, or somewhere halfway between, um, but you'd need to resize that yourself, which is fairly straightforward to do in Adobe Reader. You just use it on the poster setting and you just click on the poster setting and you'll see it will tile the picture across different pages. So you'd then print all of these out, cut them out and stick the pieces, the circles, etc., together. Um, but alternatively, use the one I've sized at 300%, make it up, follow the video for the little flower, little blossom flower, more or less exactly with just three changes. The first change is I would suggest using some interfacing on the petals Without them, they'll be quite floppy, um, and they won't get, they won't sort of stand out. They won't give this nice sort of rigid-ish feel, so that they stand up if upright. They're, they're still nice and soft, but they just add a little bit of something. So, I've got some interfacing here. I've got one-sided iron-on. It's not too thick. It's sort of medium weight. Um, obviously, you could gauge it yourself. You might want to iron that onto each side of the petal because when you make each petal it's two pieces right sides together sewn around so you may want to add interfacing onto each front and back or if it's particularly thick interfacing just on one. I've got a piece that is 70 by 60 centimeters of fabric for the petals so obviously that's quite a bit more than the little blossom but it's quite a lot bigger. So I've marked these on the interfacing side once they've already been ironed on and I'm going to cut these out, adding seam allowance. I always ask you to add seam allowance on my patterns because it adds for precision in the sewing, especially for beginner sewers. I know some of you are used to sewing with the seam allowance and including it, but I do it so that you sew on the line so you can really get those shapes perfect. So cut all of these out, follow along with a little bl blossom pattern. The next point to remember is when you come to the face part and you have your circle, your face circle marked on the back and you're going to create this cut out shape so just make sure you do the up to the line as per the pattern if you haven't seen a pattern yet you'll know what I mean when you get to it make sure you do them small enough to make a, a good circle so you'll need about a centimeter at each step and cut right on the line so the last thing you'll need to consider is the stuffing and the enclosing of the flower so here I've got it as <clears throat> to the point where I'm going to do like a whip stitch on there just to loosely sew that up and in the small pattern, I add a small piece of felt to the back and sew around. So you might want to do that with a large piece of felt. If it's going to be more of a decorative cushion, you may need to do a circular piece of fabric with the edges sewn, uh, sorry, with the edges folded over and stitched into place. And obviously stitching that. You'll need quite a little more stuffing, obviously. There's a big difference. You're using a stuffing tool or something like that, a skewer or a pencil, a razor end of a pencil, and you're pushing out towards the edges to get this nice round shape. If you remember those three points, you can follow along everything else from the small pattern to change from this little cutie to a bigger, bolder flower like this one. 